okay, this video is about Lorax app not playing events in timeline playback. What happens is when you're using your iOS device or Android device and running the Lorax app, you should be able to see events in the timeline as they occur so that you could click them and start playing them back right away. And sometimes that doesn't work right and I'm going to show you how to fix that. There's a healthy timeline on your application. You see the blue on the bottom and you see like little marks in yellow or tan in the bottom. Those tan marks are actually smart events that occur and you could click them and you go right to an event that occurred. Now here's an example of one that is not healthy. As you can see all we have is just continuous recording. There's no smart events here. And the problem is the app isn't marking where the events occur. There's events in here that occurred. It's just not showing up. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. I've noticed that other people were online were trying to figure out how to fix this problem. And I'm going to show you how I fixed it. And what I found is an article online called Motion Detection Not Showing on Playback. Since the new app update, motion section is no longer showing in the playback bar. It has recorded clips in the events, but um, determination when those events occurred on your application. Because what you can usually do is click on that mark and you'll go right to the event that just occurred. The problem looks like this. When you play it back, you only get a, a straight colored bar. There's no events. Usually there's lines in there where tell you an event would occur and you don't see that. And here's what it was doing with mine. You could see in the application that all I have is a tan area on the bottom. Usually there's like blue marks on there. Like you could see here it's a blue mark but that's where the um, pointer is right now. But there's usually blue marks all over that to tell you that an event occurred. If you see an event you could click on that blue mark and you could play it back. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Here is what it looks like on the actual HDR. You can see that the first two cameras have, have events on them. You can see the green and there's little yellow lines in there if you can see that. But on the last two cameras there's no lines. It's just continuous motion detection. Like it, it's detection motion all the time. There's no continuous playback. And I only, out of like eight cameras, I only had this problem with two cameras. Now, this is how I fix it. I go into the HDR and go into storage. And I click on each camera and I make sure that continuous motion and smart detection is clicked. Now, in my case, on those two cameras, they were all clicked. And I still didn't get their recordings on two of them out of the eight. So what happens with this app is sometimes it doesn't push the updates to the cameras, I guess. And sometimes you got to re redo these settings. So what I did is I clicked each camera that I want to have all these events happen. The motion, the continuous recording, and the smart detection recording clicked on all my cameras. And then I said, OK. And now when I go back in, you notice that the two cameras have green instead of yellow in the in the um, more recent videos. You can't see it, but there's little l lines of yellow in there. It's kind of small. You may not be able to see it. And here it is on my app itself. You can see that it went from all yellow, and now you can see some blue, and then the blue event showed up right there. So now I should be able to get to the events and fix this problem and the problem basically is the Lorix app not showing events in the timeline playback.